This is the history of the Baryonyx. So Baryonyx didn't really change too much. It's just that the skull over here, the snout is way too blunt at its first depiction, the oldest one I could find. The arms are bulky and the wrists, they don't seem to be pronated, so that's good. This Baryonyx now has quills. These colors, though vibrant, are actually quite plausible given that most of the avian dinosaurs you see are super colorful to some extent. The skull has been elongated, but the neck has been basically just shriveled up, really. It also got that crest. Never mind, the neck had already been shriveled up. It was shriveled up from the very beginning. And the Spinosaurus back then was basically just Baryonyx, but with a sail and enlarged. Baryonyx is one of the few Spinosaurids that was not given an eel-like tail, which is generally correct for the most part. Outside of that, the Baryonyx really looks not very special here. The upper and lower jaws are a bit more even now. And here's the Baryonyx from 2021 to 2025. So the Baryonyx in 2021 is still just shriveled up. The 2022 one, definitely not so much. The crest over here is very pronounced and the tail is incredibly bulky as well. Now we're on to 2025. We've got more diverse colors and just generally more colored in general. The crest is a bit less pronounced. Everything else, you know, the Baryonyx has become a bit less bulky. 2022 Baryonyx is just chunky compared to 2025. So yeah. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below.